In this section, we're going to show how you can take a cloud-based asset and save it to your vault for use internally. We're going to switch over and we're going to start with AutoCAD architecture. Now, I've already searched for a dumpster file to use and I'm going to right-click on this cloud-based asset and download it. Once the file is finished downloading, you can right-click and choose Explore. This will take me to the local data location. Highlighting the address bar will allow me to copy it and paste it into our next step. Our next step being Inventor. If I switch over to Inventor Professional, I can choose Create Asset, and I'm going to go with the Import Model option. In the file name location, I can paste the location of that asset. We're going to go with the Imperial one and choose the dumpster file. I'm going to hit Open and choose Yes. Once the file is loaded successfully, it's going to warn me that my vault is not open. We're going to go ahead and say yes to this to allow us to log into vault. And ultimately, we're going to publish this asset. Now with us logged into vault, vault will be an option under publication. We'll hit publish asset. It's going to ask if we want to save it. We'll say yes. And from there, we're going to choose Vault, and we're going to publish it to the factory assets location. You can give it a name, as we have previously when publishing assets. I'm going to put Cloud in there to specify that it was downloaded from the Cloud Asset Library. Once everything is correct here, we'll go ahead and hit OK. Once the publish finishes, we'll switch back over to Vault. I'm launching my Vault. We'll log back in. And once I'm in, I'm going to go up to search for the asset that we just added. And there it is. That's how you add a cloud asset to your vault.